Hello, today we're gonna to be visiting the most adorable place in DC. This is Crumbs and Whiskers, a cat cafe. I gotta say, the business model of a cat cafe is so smart. So Crumbs and Whiskers partners with animal rescues that save cats from high kill shelters. That means that all the cats here are actually available for adoption. It's such a win-win business model. People get to hang out with the adorable kitties and the cats get saved and adopted. When we visited, the first thing we did was take off our shoes so that the play area stays clean for the cats. And the first cat that we met was Salome. She was just chilling in the shoe rack. Isn't that adorable? Salome actually lost her tail in an accident while she was a stray, so she looks a little bit like a bunny rabbit. Next up, we met Cammy. So the first time that I saw Cammy, my mind immediately went to the Oh Lord, he coming meme. She's such a cute little chalker, but also so playful. What an absolute cutie. She was definitely one of my favorites at the cafe. Then we met Bluebell, who is such a sweet little cat. She really loves sitting in this bowl, and you can even see her toe beans. Her spot in the bowl had a great view of what was happening outside, and what's this? Looks like something exciting is happening outside. What could it be? A dog? Oh, what a cute little Shiba. There were a bunch of cats who all came to say hi to the Shiba. I was pretty surprised. A lot of the cats were more curious about the dog than afraid. One of the cats who came to say hi was Izzy, whose full name is Inquisitive. And true to her nature, she was very curious about everything. I feel like every time I saw her, she was always exploring a different part of the cafe or just looking around at all the people and cats around her. She was also very inquisitive about seeing just how upside down she could be while playing with this pom-pom without falling off. Below her, we have Patty. And um, I'm not quite sure what Patty was thinking in this frame, but he was very cute either way. Patty really wants to play with the other cats, but since he's such a big boy, the other cats don't want to play with him. Luckily for him though, humans and their toys also love to play with him. And then we have Sasquatch, who literally did not move the entire 70 minutes while we were there and just stayed sleeping in this comfy splayed out position, even as people pet him. In contrast to Sasquatch, here we have Bailey. Bailey also loves to sleep, but she changed her sleeping position like 10 times while we were there. The staff like to say that she kind of looks like she can teleport because she'll just sleep from one place to another. But in addition to sleeping, she did also play a bit, especially with her friend Baloo. At first I thought Baloo would just stay inside his little hut all day, but once he came out, he was super friendly and really playful as well. He was also really soft and ended up becoming one of my favorites at the cafe. from all the cats to tell you a bit more about the cafe itself. So the entrance fee for the cafe is $25 for 30 minutes or $40 for 70 minutes. We stayed for 70 minutes and in my opinion, it's worth it. You can buy the tickets online ahead of time to make sure they have open spots available. Once you're inside the cafe, there's no requirement to buy any food or drink while you're there, but they do have a menu with Levain Bakery if you do want a snack. Additionally, they also have some merchandise available and all the proceeds go towards raising the cats or to charity. And now back to our regularly scheduled cat programming. This little lady is Zura, and not only was she voted cat of the week last week, but she was also recently adopted. You can tell from the little star on her name tag. Zura really loved pets, so I can totally see why she got adopted. Next up, we've got Chubbs. For the most part, Chubbs like to stick to himself in this little corner, but I can kind of understand why. This corner has really got everything he needs. It's cozy, it's private, he can even get a little stretch in there. What more can a cat want? Oh wait, some human pets, which he can also get. The next two cats we have are Fenor and Tori. Oh my god, these two cats were like two peas in a pod. They just love playing with each other. At first, I was a little bit worried. I was like, are they fighting? But the staff said that wrestling is actually the way that the cats play with each other. Anyhow, it was so cute watching them wiggle and, you know, try to get at each other a little bit. And then once they were done playing, they would just wag their tails at each other. It was so freaking cute. This little princess is Nala. She had such beautiful markings, and like Zara, she recently got adopted. She's such a beautiful cat, and she loves pets, so I can totally see why. This majestic beauty is Tiffy. Tiffy is really agile, as you can see from these leaps. She spent a good amount of time sitting in this basket, watching over all the cats and humans playing. It's kind of like she felt like she was a queen ruling over the entire cafe. And for the last cat that we met today, this is Juno. 
He is such a sweet, fluffy big boy. Juno also liked to sit on a ledge, but for him, he liked to pretend that he was a book on the bookshelf. It was also so cute the way that his tail would twitch when you pet him. One of the really sweet things that Crumbs and Whiskers does is they take a Polaroid photo for everyone that visits, and you can take it home for free. We chose to take our photo with Juno because he was such a big, fluffy, handsome boy. And with that, our time was up and it was time to head home. Crumbs and Whiskers was such a perfect way to spend the afternoon. If you couldn't tell from the video, I had a really fun time getting to know all the cats. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel. It would really mean the world to me. Hope to see you next time. Bye.